Hi guys, welcome back to our channel. In one of our previous videos, we talked about online proofreading jobs for beginners with no experience and platforms that you can use to find these proofreading jobs online. And I got a lot of comments and a lot of love to thank you for it. If you haven't watched it, you can go watch right here. But in this video, we will go over some of the basics of proofreading. So whenever we come across a work from home job or a stay at home job option like proofreading, we have our own doubts. We think about, am I cut out to be a proofreader? Do I have the abilities to start proofreading from home and earn a full time income? Do I need any formal training for it? Do I need a college degree? How to become a proofreader? Where do I start? How do I start? Is proofreading an entry level job? And if it is, where to find these kind of online proofreading jobs for beginners and so many, many, many more. So we'll go over each of these questions in this video. So stay with me because I will clear a lot of your doubts that you must be having about becoming a proofreader and earning a full time income working from home. But before you proceed, I want you to sign up for this free training you can see on the screen right now on how to become a proofreader and what it entails. It can help give you a head start. This is going to be the first link in the description box below. So go right now, click on it and sign up for this free training. Now let's start. Hi guys, I'm Chavi, a five figure blogger and a work from home expert. I make videos each week on making money online and living a location independent life. I know you're interested in that. So take a second and hit the red icon below to subscribe to our channel. Hit the bell icon so you are notified each and every time a new video is uploaded. The first question is, what is proofreading? Now, before you decide to become a proofreader, you need to understand what does a proofreader actually do? What is going to be your job? Now, proofreading work involves fine combing what is already being edited to ensure that the content is error free. It is free of typos, chromatical errors, punctuation errors, etc. Now, after the content has been proofread, it is sent for publication and it is not sent out for publication before proofreading is done. So proofreading is the final touch to the content before it goes live. Now, basically you are responsible to tidy up and assure the quality of the content. How is it different from editing? Now, proofreading work is significantly different from editing, but people often tend to get confused because most proofreaders offer editing services as well. It goes hand in hand, so you can do that as well. In simple terms, editing comes before any content is sent out for proofreading. Now this may cause some confusion, so let me dive a little bit further. So editing really deals with restructuring the content, suggesting content changes, deleting parts of the copy or ensuring that the copy reads well. It is coherent. You are expected to be involved in the process of writing the copy, editing it if you are an editor. But as a proofreader, you are not required to do any of this. You are not required to edit the copy. You are not expected to see if the copy reads well or suggest any changes that relates to the copy or the content. Now, none of this is a part of proofreading. As a proofreader, you are solely responsible for making the content error free in terms of typos, grammars, punctuations, etc. Now, the next question is what all can you proofread? Are there proofreading niches? So yes, there are many proofreading niches and I recommend you select one. A few examples of proofreading niches you can have in the beginning as a beginner proofreader would be ebooks or digital products in general, white papers, transcripts, academic papers, resumes, marketing materials, contracts, press releases. Now that said, niches are generally to market yourself. Now you can take on work outside of the niche that you select so you don't have to stick to it and deny all the work that comes your way. That is not what I'm saying. You can definitely take on work outside of the niche to understand where your interest and ability lies. But first decide on a niche so it's easier for you to market yourself and easier for you to look for clients and convince clients that you are an expert in that proofreading niche. Now there is one thing I want you to remember. You can change the niche anytime you want, but don't fall into the trap of selecting a very easy niche like blogging. Now, people will almost pay a higher price to ensure that there is no errors in their white papers, in their transcripts, in their contracts, etc. versus a blogger who is writing a blog post. So choose a niche where proofreading is sort of sensitive and an integral part of the process. This is where the actual money lies. 
So the next question obviously is how much does proofreaders earn? Now this is an extremely important question and frequently asked question as well. How much do proofreaders make after all? Now according to ZipRecruiter, they conducted a survey and the hourly wage of a proofreader is $25 per hour. It could be more than that or much lesser than that depending upon your skills and how you promote yourselves and the clients you land. Now that said, you can expect to make anywhere between $25 to $45 per hour as a freelance proofreader. Now that we have learned what is proofreading, how much can you earn, etc, etc, now we come to what are the necessary skills to become a proofreader. Now this is going to be short, the most important proofreading skills are going to be your in-depth knowledge of the English language. You need to have excellent written and oral communication. You need to be meticulous, you need to be detailed oriented, you need to be able to meet deadlines and you need to be familiar with Microsoft Word and proofreading marks and various other tricks of the trade. Do I need to have an English degree or a formal training to become a proofreader? I know what you're thinking. How can you become a proofreader, proofread in English without a degree? But I have some good news for you. You don't need any degree or experience to become a proofreader. Absolutely nada, no degrees, no experience. Many companies, however, require a degree for any kind of proofreading work, but there are many, many more who don't require you to have any degree or any experience previously. So if you ask me how to become a proofreader and what's one thing you need, all I say is that you need a business mindset, not a desperate job seeker mindset that we are stuck in. Again, sign up for this free training you can see on the screen right now because she tells you how to become a proofreader and how to find these jobs and how to start out as a beginner with no experience. Now that you know everything on how to become a proofreader, what you can earn, what do you need, what are the skills, that you don't need any qualification, we need to talk about where you find these online proofreading jobs. Now I have divided this section into three parts. So the first one is for beginners with no experience. The second one is intermediate with some kind of experience. And the third one is experts which have at least two to three years of proofreading experience. So let's start with the beginner section. If you're a beginner, you can look for proofreading jobs in Lionbridge, Proofreading Services, Cranley, and Dominite. As an, as an intermediate, that is, you have experience with proofreading or content previously, you can apply to Kirkus Media, Polish Paper, Edit Fast, Wordwise, Scribber, eCorrectors, and Cactus. Now, if you're an expert, if you have previous knowledge about proofreading, you can go on to Proofreading Pal, Proofreading Now, Words for You, Scribendi, Managed Editing. Now this is it for today. If you are interested in becoming a proofreader, earn a full-time income working from home, check out this video on online proofreading jobs for a few more companies that I have not mentioned here and how to start working from home to grab an action plan. The links are on the screen right now, so go ahead, click on one of them and watch them for your next steps. I'll see you in a few days with a new video on making money. Till then, subscribe to my channel by hitting the red icon below and ta-da!